Never in my life. Look what you guys did. Ooh. This was all you. Wow. Whoa. Ooh, this paper thick. <laughs> Why is there a scratch on it? I'm so thankful. <laughs> Thank you. We got the play button. Davey RZ, 1000 subscribers. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make Venom's symbiote. Symbiote? Symbiote? Symbiote. AKA sludge, muck, goo, or slime. And this will be done by extracting, filtering, or separating iron from your sand. Sand that will be coming from your backyard. Ooh. And all you're gonna be needing is one of these. This is going to be the most important tool you're going to need. A magnet. But not just any magnet. A neodymium. Neodymium. A neodymium? So these magnets look very small, but they are very strong. I bought all these magnets on Amazon. So yeah, I got 12 of these. I'm gonna put them together and I'm gonna make a giant magnet. Oh, and I paid about 20 bucks per uh, magnet. Okay, so I have to put them together, but I am a little scared because they're really strong and they will chip if they uh, bump into each other. Very strong. Okay, that was already kind of fast, but I've already chipped one. So now we're gonna put them together and we're gonna make a giant magnet. It's so scary when you're putting them together because I don't want them to squish my fingers. <laughs> scary. So here's the uh, giant magnet. I know it doesn't look very giant. I only ended up using eight little magnets. They kept smashing my fingers, so um, I gave up. So now let's go to my backyard and start gathering some iron. Before anything though, we will be putting the magnet in a plastic bag so that it doesn't get covered in iron or sand. Okay, so I cleaned up a little bit and uh, move the dirt around. So we should be able to find some iron. This is where I always find it. Even though I sometimes feel like I run out, but I moved everything around. So we should be able to find something. So this is how the magnet looks and this is how we're gonna use it. So this is gonna be the best sand to find iron in. Let's start using the magnet. So now we're gonna filter the sand with magnet, weed out the stuff that's not iron, like the stuff right here. A few moments later. Okay, so it did take me a while to like filter it out, but it's good now. So all we have to do is make the symbiote. I just wanted to show off. To make the symbiote or uh, blood, muck, ooze, goo, magical magnetic mud, you will need some borax and baking soda and some water. Wawa. Awa. And obviously the iron we just got outside. If you are bougie, you can use this slime activator. All right, let's make the sludge. Let's add some water, just a little bit. Add a tiny bit of borax <laughs> and a tiny bit of baking soda. <laughs> now we just mix that up real quick. Now we have the glue. I'm gonna be using clear glue, but you can use any type of glue. I recommend you guys making this stuff first and then adding the iron. Let's get our hands dirty. Okay, all done. I had to throw away some of the water because uh, it was too much and it was over activating it. I wanted mine to look clear, so I did my best not to mix it too fast. Clear slime is a happy slime. Let me show you how symbiote kind of looks more like. So Spider-Man Venom's symbiote looks more like this. <laughs> You see that? I mean, we're gonna replicate it right now, but it's not gonna look very much like this, but look. This looks more like Venom or Symbiote. So yeah, did I get some on my finger? I gotta go wash it off because I don't want to turn into Venom. Anyways, yeah, let's make it. Is this too much? Let's add some of our iron. Now we just mix it all up. Okay, and here it is. So it doesn't look purely black like symbiote. It looks like a dark gray or charcoal. Okay, let's put it to the test. Here is a random magnet. Renegade, renegade, renegade. I made two separate slimes. I added some gold pigment to this one and I added some fake snow to this one. But here's our regular one that you don't need any of that. You could just make it. Woo! Whoa! Ooh. Let's make this cube turn into venom. So let's test it out on this one. And not that bad, looks actually pretty cool. Let's try this one. Oh, this one feels a lot better, doesn't it? Oh, my mistake. Let's keep this one a little further away. And this one almost broke, look it. No more, oh, that scared me. I thought I was gonna go after the one I had in my hand. Let's make a giant slime. 
Renegade, Renegade, ah! Renegade, 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 Renegade. Ow! Yeah. Oh. No more! These magnets are <laughs> Here is the symbiote, aka magnetic slime from your backyard. Just look how that looks. You can kind of see the pieces of iron. Bruh. I don't know if you can see it. It's so much fun to play with, but you just can't have this longer than a day because it does rust. It smells like moist dirt, you know, sort of like when it's about to rain and you go outside and it smells good and you're just like, oh, it smells like rain. It smells like rain. Okay, let's have it take over my face so I can turn into venom, see? Oh, yes. No, I'm just kidding. I'm not doing that. So it does not act much like the ferro fluid, but you can actually touch it. Okay, that's going to be it for me because I ran out of things to say because I don't know what else to say. Thank you for watching. I appreciate it. Also, thanks again for the button. You guys are awesome. Wouldn't have that without you. Thank you. Please subscribe. Hopefully you now know how to make symbiote. <laughs>